क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन वी आर गिविन ए मैट्रिक्स पी इट्स एलिमेंट्स आर थ्री माइनस वन माइनस टू इन द फर्स्ट रो टू जीरो अल्फा इन द सेकेंड रो एंड थ्री माइनस फाइव जीरो इन द थर्ड रो वेयर अल्फा इज सम रियल नंबर एंड देर इज अनदर मैट्रिक्स क्यू विच इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म इज गिविन बाय क्यू आई जे सच दैट पी क्यू इक्वल के टाइम आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर थ्री वेयर दिस के इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दिस आई इज आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स वी आर गिविन वन मोर इंफॉर्मेशन क्यू ऑफ टू थ्री equals minus k upon एट and determinant of q is given equal to k square by टू now we have to check different options we have to find value of alpha we have to find k and we have to check other options now first of all we are given pq equal k time i3 if we take determinant on both side this become k cube because i is identity matrix of order 3 and this we can write determinant of p multiplied by determinant of q equal k cube from this we can find determinant of p multiplied by determinant of q but we are given in the question value of determinant q equals k square by 2 this equal k cube we can cancel k square and we can find value of determinant p equal 2k from this result now we can find value of determinant p in one more way from this we can find value of determinant p if we expand it along first row we can read 3 times this become 5 alpha plus 1 multiplied by this become minus 6 alpha Minus three alpha minus two multiplied by minus ten. From this we can find value of determinant p equal fifteen alpha minus three alpha equals twelve alpha plus twenty. So we can read value of determinant p in two ways. We can equate them also. So from these two we get two k equal. 12 alpha plus 20 implies k equal 6 alpha plus 10. Now, as we have seen, determinant p into determinant q equal k q, and we are given k not equal to zero. It means p is an invertible matrix. So we can take inverse. We can pre-multiply with p inverse in this equation. So from this equation. when we pre multiply with p inverse we find p inverse pq equal scalar k multiplied by p inverse i3 p inverse p become identity matrix an identity matrix multiplied by q will give matrix q equal k time and this p inverse multiplied by i3 will give p inverse matrix and from formula we can read p inverse equals adjoint of p upon determinant of p as we have find determinant of p equal 2k so we can put value of determinant p 2k so from this we can find matrix q equals adjoint p multiple divide by 2 now we are given for matrix q q 2 3 element has value minus q8 and from this we have seen matrix q is adjoint p divide by 2 so for this particular element of matrix q we have to find adjoint of this element of matrix p and this the adjoint of this particular element of matrix p will give minus time 3 alpha plus 4 upon 2 and which we are given equal to minus k upon 
8. From this we can find using these two equations we can find value of k equal 4 and value of alpha equal minus 1 and from these two values of k equal 4 and alpha equal minus 1 we can see that option b is correct which is 4 alpha minus k plus 8 equal 0 is correct option. Now for option c we can find determinant of p multiplied by adjoint q which is equals to determinant of p multiplied by determinant of adjoint q as q is a square matrix of order 3 from this we can read adjoint of matrix q this become determinant of q whole square as determinant p is already we have found 2k and determinant q is given k square by 2 so this becomes k to the power 4 by 4 which becomes k to the power 5 by 2 and from here we have find value of k equal 4 which becomes 2 to the power 10 divided by 2 equal 2 to the power 9 implies option c is correct therefore the correct options are b and c